the quarterback going. Holton Aylers looks like he's getting in a little bit of a rhythm. Second down and six. Almost bubbled the snap, and Aylers is tracked down and dropped. And that's Laurel Murchison. Quarterback going. Holton Aylers looks like he's getting in a little bit of a rhythm. Second down and six. Almost bubbled the snap, and Aylers is tracked down and dropped. And that's Laurel Murchison. Big fellow at 290 pounds, making his 14th career start. He's one of the guys that they're really excited about on this defensive line. Reads it well, is able to react and close down Aylers before. Third now and a dozen for ECU. Aylers trying to get away and cannot. Murchison gets a stop behind the line. Defensive lineman love, 31 to three, time to pin your ears back. And 92 Murchison, James, uh, James Smith Williams creates the pressure, Murchison the beneficiary, and these guys are teeing off now. They hand them football off like a running back. This time they do hand it off, and it's Walter Fletcher who's met in the backfield. Laurel Murchison, the first to get there. I'm gonna find him a ball player, Murchison. I mean, I love the way he dissects plays. He's very technique sound. Play action, Plitt in trouble. And he can't get away. Went to it. They've had so much success with his play fake abilities. Uh, behind the line of scrimmage. North Carolina. That's right, I love the play call, but the decision was great. Hornibrook is sacked. Down around the five yard line by Isaiah Moore and Murchison, who was injured earlier. Quickly back in it. Hornibrook again pressure and down he goes as he is sacked. Laurel Murchison who has really bounced back from being nicked up earlier after spending some time down on the field. He's flying now. Let them try to pass this off here as the pressure comes. You don't end up going on the other side. You, your left guard, uh, excuse me, Arnold, a little more of their conditioning, maybe issues. They've slowed it down a bit. Hornibrook evades one man, but not a second. Taken down by Murchison. Corner blitz, here it comes off of the slot here. And just look at Hornibrook's eye focus. He doesn't see it coming. He's got no idea. It's not picked up. And the offensive line is struggling, but that's a lot of hits on the quarterback. Trying to get free. He goes down again. It's Murchison all over him. We're getting it again. If you look at Bello, who again, I, you know, and Scott in there, you know, as they're trying to cut, you know, they basically just whiff. And so it's Holden and then Merchinson. Got his first home start against Clemson. That's <laughs> oh, tough sled. That's tough sled. Play action on first down. Didn't have the look he wanted and ended up tossing the ball away. Got his first home start against Clemson. <laughs> That's oh, tough sled. That's tough sled. Play action on first down. Didn't have the look he wanted and ended up tossing the ball away. Second and 22 for DeVito. He knows footsteps are coming from the backside. He got chased down by one of the big boys up front. He would love nothing more for his defense to find a way to get a takeaway. They only have five in five games this season. Excellent penetration up front by Laurel Murchison. They practiced with music all week. They thought they were ready for it. Clearly they were not. Three-man rush. Abdul Adams needs to make the catch. It'll bring up fourth down. Five in the pattern again. Just a three-man rush for NC State. DeVito cannot take a sack. Here and he does. Laurel Murchison. The big man. 24 carries a game so far this year. They fake the pitch to Dylan. Instead, it's Flowers who loses a bunch. Tanner Engel, the safety, gets up in the line of scrimmage. This is what you start doing now as a defense to, to limit the run game. Newman back out there for first down on the 21. And he's going to hand it off to Carney, who's tracked down from behind. Which Second and 15, this time good protection. And the ball batted down at the line of scrimmage. And Murchison, 92, the veteran there in the middle. Nice job of, he couldn't quite get to Lawrence, but shows you the experience that he has. Just kind of waiting and 
length goes up. Even though Lawrence is 6'6", he kind of had to throw the ball down. And so he didn't the backup. Brock Miller went down. He got hurt and had to leave the game. It was an absolute disaster. We're going to snuff this one out and bring down Hall. That's Murchison with the tackle. Well, Murchison, who's, who's inside here, you see, is, is they just try to get this zone run going out here. Just does a good job of blowing it up. So at the 32, and a handoff for Hall. He's going to be stopped by Murchison. Look natural to you based on what you thought early, Pat? Hey, natural thrower. Effortless. Right in oh that read, but he lost the football. And for the first time in ACC play, North Carolina State has a takeaway. Laurel Murchison, their stud up front on top of it. Ibrahim Conte knocked it loose. So who was supposed to block who? The defender comes in untouched. It causes the fumble. That is a big play for NC State. We talked to the NC State coaches last night. Li Coach Jeff Collins said it afterwards. Oh, no. Oh, that ball is loose. North Carolina State's got it. Laurel Murchison, they're still on front dome on top of it. And North Carolina State, after not having a single takeaway in ACC play, has two tonight. Going back to their option routes. But maybe that's why you got to practice it over and over and over again. A little bit of miscommunication there on the mesh point. That's twice tonight where we've had a little bit of indecisiveness on that mesh point. The NC State defense has been third and five, three wideouts. The right's going to hand off for Carter, and Carter's going nowhere. It's going to cause enough confusion. They're basically getting into their pass rush. It causes enough confusion that McKeithen can't get his block. And then you have the tackle for the loss there by Murchison.